In this video I'm going to talk about different ways of expressing straight lines and in different situations uh, some turn out to be more useful than others. You're probably familiar with the form y equals mx plus c where m is the gradient of the line uh, so that tells us how steep the line is and c is the y-intercept. Okay, So uh, that's just where the line crosses the y-axis. So for example if I had y equals 3x plus 1 then this line would uh, go through here uh, 1, that's the y-intercept and it would have gradient 3 so that would mean it would be, it would be steeper than this if the axes were equal uh, as x goes up 1 y would go up 3 and we'd have that constant gradient of 3. Uh, similarly you know we could have negative values in here so y equals minus 2x minus 7 uh, same, same idea so I'd have this would go through y equals minus 7 uh, and it's got gradient minus 2 so it's going down from left to right so it's, as x goes across 1 y goes down 2. Now people sometimes call this form uh, a sort of a general form of a straight line um, which means that all straight lines could be put into that form and that's almost true although if I was being uh, picky which is a good mathematician I suppose I should be I would say that not quite all lines do fit this uh, do fit this form so if I for example just had a straight line like x equals 4 uh, that doesn't have a y-intercept never goes across the y-axis so I can't put it in this form and the gradient well it doesn't, again, it doesn't really have a well-defined gradient either because you know x doesn't go across so I can't say as x goes across 1 y goes up a certain amount I might say it's infinite or something but that's not very precise so this isn't quite a general form. Uh, so the first general form I'll show you is ax plus by equals c uh, and actually uh, now if I choose different values of a, b and c this always gives me a straight line and this one any straight line I can put into this form so for example here x equals 4 I could choose uh, a equals 1 so I just get x I could have b is 0 and c is 4 and similarly other lines like um, if I if I took something in the form y equals mx plus c so y equals 3x plus 7 I could rearrange this so I would get minus 3x plus y equals 7 so I'd have a is minus 3 b is 1 and c is 7 so here uh, c uh, has ended up being the y-intercept but that wouldn't always be true necessarily for example if I started with 2x plus 3y equals 5. Again, I could put it into the form, this is a straight line, and I could put it into the form y equals mx plus c by rearranging it. So 3y is 5 minus 2x, and then, well, let's write this as minus 2x plus 5, and then y, dividing it all by 3, y is minus 2 thirds x plus 5 thirds. So this would be a straight line with uh, gradient minus 2 thirds and y-intercept 5 thirds, so that c here doesn't always end up being the y-intercept. So this is, and this is a general form, so there's another way of expressing straight lines which again can be useful, um, especially for something like this, this is a neater form, we don't have all these awkward fractions uh, lying around. Right, now here's my favourite form of the straight line, and it's because it's a very mathematically neat one and it's incredibly useful, so let's say I don't know the y-intercept necessarily, uh, and uh, what I know, but what I do know is that I've got a line that goes through a certain point here. So this is the point two, f two five, and the gradient of this line is two. Let's think about how we can express this straight line. So um, if I took a general point on this line, uh, x comma y, so this x y could be anywhere on this line, and what I'm about to say is true for any point. So um, so if I can write something down in terms of this general point I can write down an equation for the whole line and let's just uh, put in a, a right angle triangle here so I'm going horizontally and vertically and now I'll think about this triangle so my aim here is to write down the gradient of the line in two ways I know it's two but I'm also going to write it down in terms of the change in y and the change in x so the change in y here, well the y coordinate of this point is just y for my general point and the y coordinate here is 
5. Okay, it's y, this, is, this is the point with, uh, with y equals 5. So this distance here is y minus 5. And similarly, uh, along here, well this is 2 uh, in the x direction, and here this has just x coordinate x, and so this distance along here is x minus 2. Okay, So if I wanted to write down an expression for the gradient, it's just change in y divided by change in x. So that's y minus 5 divided by x minus 2, and that's equal to 2 because that is the gradient, we told the gradient is 2. So that is another equation for this straight line. Now, we don't have to do this, but if we wanted to, I could rearrange this now back into one of the other forms. So I could multiply it by x minus 2 and get y minus 5 is 2, x minus 2. And then if we just multiply that out and add the 5 to each side, we get y equals 2x plus 1. So actually I can now say that the y-intercept here is 1, and of course the gradient is 2, which we already knew. Um, but the point is, really, this form is just as good as this form. They're both equations uh, of the line. And this one turns out to be really useful um, in lots of different situations. And this is the one that I would tend to work with the most. Now, people sometimes think this looks a bit complicated at first, but it is, it's easy once you get used to it. And uh, in general, then, what we've got here is if I, if I know I go through a particular point A and B, where they're numbers we know, uh, here's my general point X, Y and the gradient is m, so uh, again this distance here would be the y coordinate of this one minus the y coordinate of this one, so that's y minus b, and similarly this distance along here would be x minus a, so in general I've got this equation here which just says the gradient equals the gradient, okay, because the gradient is y minus b divided by x minus a, but it's also m. So here's another good form uh, for the equation of a straight line. Um, Another way we could write this down, of course, is just multiplying through by x minus a, and I could say that y minus b equals m x minus a, and I've just got to fill in the x and y coordinates of the things that I know, and it's always the x coordinate with the x coordinate, the y coordinate with the y coordinate, and uh, m is the gradient. Sometimes you see this written as y minus y1 is m x minus x1, where instead of a, b, uh, we're using x1 and y1 as the coordinates, but again, they're just numbers. So if I knew uh, it goes through 3, 7, and the gradient is 5, I can just say it's y minus 7 divided by x minus 3 is 5. And if we're not asked or don't need to put it into a particular form, that's a perfectly good equation of a, of a straight line. Um, for, just be a little bit careful with negative values um, and things. So if I had, if it went through minus 2, minus 7, and let's make the gradient negative as well, so let's say m is minus 1 half, then I would have, and this is a straight line still, then we get y minus b, and here it's b is minus 7, so it's y minus minus 7 divided by x minus, and again, x is negative, so minus minus 2, and m is minus a half, so we get that, and that simplifies then to y plus 7 divided by x plus 2 is minus a half, and if you want to, you can rearrange that into one of the other forms, but that's fine. Um, so, once you get the hang of this, it's it's nice and simple, you know, I mean you can either write it down straight like that, or you could go and, 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 and straight away write down y plus 7 is minus a half x plus 2. And again, really important skill in going into further maths, into A level especially here, uh, is being flexible and fluent with interchanging between all these different forms of straight lines, because linear relationships um, although the most, they're the most simple relationship we've got in maths really are one of the most important and widely used ones and a straight line represents that linear relationship.